Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design and assemble a simple and beautiful door knob in SOLIDWORKS. We will make each and every part and assemble at the end of video. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. It is very interesting and very useful tool in day to day life. Let's make the here first part of door knob rubber rubber ring so let's start choose front plane a sketch select here center line or construction line draw a vertical and horizontal line it must pass through origin again choose and draw two lines again draw two lines make sure both the lines vertical now we will assign the gap eighteen point five mm and the gap between these two lines keep three mm okay now select here center point arc and we want to create a arc okay now this time select this point connect with this point exit select line and connect both the lines and close this okay let's define this radius keep radius 7.5 mm now our geometry is fully defined select features and go to select revolve boss base and we will select this vertical line as axis see this is the rubber ring for door knob okay now we will assign the material just go to organic wood and uh, select uh, polished mahogany see any material you can choose it's up to you now save this part desktop create a folder door knob and this is the part number one rubber ring Uh, or simply say ring not uh, this is not uh, this wooden ring actually let's make the next part we will make the next part door metal part inside part part number 2 so let's see choose front plane sketch select center line and draw a vertical and horizontal center line okay choose line and start from any one point convert it a uh, arc again go back and convert it this line also an arc drop down and cut convert this line also exit again choose line select go back the point and it will automatically convert a circle see here escape draw a horizontal line make a arc draw a straight line then convert it make a circle then 
again go back draw a straight line up to this point up to here escape choose line connect convert it a circle and connect with this line once you go back to the origin point your line will be automatically convert into curve it is very important command draw a horizontal line now let's define this dimensions Twenty. This point also twenty. This end from here fifteen. Keep three mm. Radius thirty mm. Okay. simply undo the process delete this line first decide this dimension 60 degree let's say this mid mid distance 6.647 select this length cancel it we will define letter three am mm. now this bottom line from this line one point six am mm. Okay. Keep radius one point five mm. Okay. Keep the radius little up. Upward direction. Now the distance between these two lines, fifteen mm. Let's make the angle. Cancel it. First, define this gap. Fifteen mm. Let's say ten mm. Radius is three mm. Keep three mm. One point five mm. Now let's make the angle try to take upward direction.
keep length 15 mm okay try to make little taper and little upward let's take the geometry little upside now it's better degree 15 30 degree point 0.5 select this radius thirty mm okay now select the center of this uh, circle and origin point and make relation vertical undo the process okay it's uh, it will not much effect select this point and this point make relation I think undo both already by default Here all the dimensions are finished. Okay. Select this center. Okay. now make the relation select this line and this circle tangent relation okay now this is the our geometry so just go to feature select revolve boss base select this line okay now see it is a metal piece choose chamfer 1 mm 45 degree select this bottom edge okay now let's we will make the thread inside this steel part so let's make the thread select this face sketch first create a circle keep the diameter 8 mm now we will create a path for thread so go to feature com and select one command helix and spiral pitch and revolution and uh, we, uh, we prefer a pitch uh, let's say 1.25 mm 11 number of revolution 0 degree okay select right plane a sketch now let's create a thread here a uh, thread profile draw a triangle here connect this corner point with midpoint of this line select this line make relation horizontal this one must be vertical and let's make the angle 60 degree now the horizontal length 1 mm ok select this center line and choose construction line now select this sharp edge and select this line and make relation pierce okay 
now the geometry is fully defined so simply exit from the plane go to feature and find out swift cut now you can see it here the path is selected just select the path profile already selected sketch tree select ok now let's see see here inside the threads are created inside this knob now we will define some material to this go to metal and here you have many options either polish the steel or chrome plate anything is up to you i prefer chrome plate now save this part number 2 knob let's see the last part the screw let's make the third part screw choose front plane sketch select directly a line and start from here to origin point make little taper exit now let's define this keep 12 mm from here to keep 30 mm one point five mm make six mm Two point one five mm. Six mm. Four mm. Three point two five mm. And uh, let's define this gap. Three mm. now the geometry is fully defined go to features and select revolve boss base select this bottom line as a axis okay now this is the shape of screw choose fillet 1 mm select this two edges okay now choose chamfer One mm, select this face. Okay. Again, choose this face. Sketch normal. Go to sketch and select center rectangle. Keep length eight mm and width one mm. Okay. And select extruded cut and make the depth inside up to two mm only. Okay. now let's create a plane choose plane select this face make 29 mm away from this face okay now this plane is created now select this plane sketch normal here we will create thread so choose helix and circle and draw a 1 diameter circle okay now go to feature and choose helix and spiral select here 
पिच एंड रिवॉल्यूशन 2.5 पॉइंट फाइव टू एम एम ऑफकोर्स रिवर्स डायरेक्शन क्लॉक वाइज ट्वेंटी डिग्री टेपर्ड आउट ओके select front plane i think uh, this is suitable choose front plane sketch select a line first draw a triangle connect with this मिड लाइन वर्टिकल कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइन नाउ लेट्स फर्स्ट डिफाइन द गैप पॉइंट जीरो वन एम एम वन पॉइंट फाइव एम एम ओके now drag it choose center line exit now select this point and this line first select this line coincide okay this is a important relation okay Point four mm. Okay. Now select this path and this center point, Pierce. Delete all. Select this point and this. Pierce. Okay. Now the geometry is fully defined. So simply exit. Go to feature and select sweep to boss base command. Select here path. Choose okay. Now the one face is created. So we will make a next face. First we will create plane. Select this face. and select this sharp edge vertex we call this vertex okay select this face sketch normal circle and draw a circle up to this vertex choose helix and spiral tapered zero and here we will uh, make the 2.5 and revolution 9.3 mm okay select front plane sketch normal select this face convert entities see it is converted this face simply exit from the sketch swipe to boss base tool this shape is selected select the path now see select okay now just simply hide the plane now see its uh, screw shape is created it looks real now let's see 
now here we will make the thread so select this top face a sketch first draw a circle here and keep the diameter 6.647 select here is split and helix and spiral pitch and revolution pitch select 1.25 mm 9 mm revolution zero angle zero degree clockwise okay choose front plane sketch now here we will make the thread profile exit select this mid line vertical construction Zero point nine nine four, and let's define the angle. Keep sixty degree. Okay. Now select the corner and this path and make relation pairs. Okay. Now this geometry is fully defined. So simply go to exit. Select here swift cut. Choose here path. Select OK. Now see the threads are created. So this is the door knob screw. See it is very simple and easy. Let's define the material. Uh, okay, let's say polished steel. it is very easy and very helpful i hope you like it save this part number 3 screw screw any name it's uh, up to you now let's do the assembly for door knob i think we forget to add some 1 mm and select this edge okay that's it now save it now here let's start the assembly of door knob select new assembly this is the solid works assembly window let's browse the our first part uh, we prefer well, let's say knob then ring open this is the first part knob and ring choose mat select this circular edge and this circular edge make relation concentric okay select this face and this edge coincident relation okay now see the knob and it's fixed very perfectly browse the last part screw first rotate the screw then move okay now let's define the relation choose mat select this face and this face 
make the first relation concentric okay select this face and select this face delete this face select this face see is going to touch here and asking for tangent relation select okay now it is fixed so see this is the simple door knob you can fix first you can fix this screw then this door knob just rotate and fix it here with this inside thread so it is very simple and very useful i hope you like it now save as a assembly don't forget to share and like our video and subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching